What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review, I'll be reviewing a new cigar that was just released in February of this year, 2017. It is the Punch Grand Puro. Now, despite the name Grand Puro, this is actually a cigar that uses a broadleaf Connecticut wrapper. Now, the binder and filler both Nicaraguan, uh, but unfortunately the dark Maduro broadleaf wrapper is Connecticut. So, it's kind of odd why they would call it a Puro when it's technically not, but other than that, it is a 7.5 by 54 stick. It ranges between $7 and $7.50, and you can pick that up pretty much. I've seen them everywhere now that they're available. They've been released by General Cigar, uh, and they are made out of Honduras. So I'm a little different calling it a Grand Nicaraguan, but it's not from Nicaragua and it's not all Nicaraguan. So let's go ahead and as you can see, it is a dark chocolate wrapper. I mean, look at it, that's amazing. Uh, I do like the punch cigars. Uh, don't smoke a lot of them. Punch signature is probably my favorite cigar at this point that I've had by punch. Uh, but the Nicaraguan's pretty good. Um, it's just, it's an awful long smoke for me. I just, I don't know, something about this cigar that just seven and a half uh, by 54 is kind of a long stick. But other than that, you can see uh, tight seams, minimal veins, and very dark. As you can see, it is a pretty good pack cigar. It is firm to the touch, uh, not a lot of sponge to it. Uh, but from the last couple ones that I've had, has a great draw. So let's go ahead and cut it up and we'll get into the pre-draw. With my trusty cutter here, we'll give it a cut. Yeah, it's a straight cut off the top. We just check to make sure a little bit of the foot, or actually the cap, I mean, uh, that's left comes off. Last thing you want is a mouthful of tobacco flakes. Draws good. I'm getting right off the bat on the cold draw. A little bit of cocoa, almost like a semi-sweet uh, chocolate. Getting a hint of black pepper, not overpowering, just barely a little bit in the background. But I gotta say, I love the draw. I love the, the profile so far. And let's go ahead and light it up and we'll get into that first third of our cigar. Give it a rotation. Good light there. Initially, getting that chocolate coming through. Getting a few little notes of cedar. Let's say a little bit of that black pepper. And on the finish, kind of getting on the smoke, a little bit of a leather. So far, a pretty good stick. Like I said, it is uh, between $7 and $7.50. Uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere where they sell a majority of the punch brand. Picked this up at uh, Stag Tobacco Nose of Phoenix in Metro Center. And they, I'm always looking for a new cigar. So whenever I go into my shops, I'm always asking anything new, anything to try. So I have a couple of new sticks. This one was one of them, and we'll get into it. I'll be right back after this. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, the broadleaf that's on here, the Connecticut, is really well. Because it's a thicker uh, leaf, it's a slower burner. So you're going to find that you can enjoy this the cigar a little bit longer it's going to take a little while to get through there and having some of that uh, Ligero binder in there it makes it it's pretty thick as well so when you first get the cigar it's a pretty hearty cigar because it's uh, got two really thick thicker leaf tobaccos that burn a little longer uh, you can see it's got a little bit of an oily sheen to it it's not so overpowering but it is, uh, for a lot of folks, when they try it, it is a really full flavored cigar. Now for me, I'd rate it about a medium, high medium to a low full. But again, that's because like I said in the past in other videos that the uh, I smoke a lot of Nicaraguan full flavor, so I'm kind of getting 
anesthetized to that profile so it doesn't bother me as much. Some people might think it's a little too strong, uh, but all in all, there's a lot of fruitiness that come off the retro hell with some cedar, um, kind of like maybe a dark cherry, maybe a raisin profile. Uh, it is something different than a lot of the other punch cigars that are out there. Uh, they have, uh, you may have passed them up, uh, or you've heard, oh, you tried it and you didn't like it. So just try this one. It's a little bit different, a little more complex profile than their typical uh, cigars. So if you haven't tried a punch, or if you're a punch fan, or if you're someone who just don't care for punch, I would suggest try this one. Because this cigar is a lot different than uh, some of the ones they've released in the past. But man, I got to say, it is a great cigar. For me, I like it. Uh, as, as I said, this being a longer cigar, it is about a two and a half hour. I'm at an hour and 40 minutes right now. I probably got another 30 minutes on here. So maybe two hours, two and a half hours, depending on how, how you smoke it. It is a slow smoke, so don't try to smoke it too quickly. Uh, you might get a little too much uh, uh, flavor profile. I am noticing though that it lingers a lot on the tongue, leaving it after uh, if I sat it down a couple times and walked away from it, came back, and even when I walked away, I still had that profile on my palate. So definitely suggest you try it. It is a great cigar. Like I said, it was just released in February of this year, 2017. So if you haven't tried it, try it. And then uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you thought about the cigar. Uh, definitely something that it just came out. A lot of people haven't really tried it yet, uh, but I am a punch fan, so I was wanting to give it a try. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Scars of Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. And I will see you next time.